Mauritania. History, geography, people, facts, economy. When last did you hear the name of the country Mauritania? And if that name is mentioned, what thoughts readily come to your mind? The only thing many people remember about this country is when they saw it in one of the soccer competitions between African countries. But there's a lot more to this country beyond the beautiful round leather game. If you watched the Miss World 2013 International Beauty Pageant, for example, you probably would remember that the crown nearly went to this humble country of stunningly gorgeous people. In this video, you will see or be reminded of exciting facts about the country that praises itself in the song Land of the Proud, guided by noblemen. Kindly follow along. About Mauritania, location and size. Mauritania is a country located in northwest Africa, precisely in the Maghreb region. To its west is the Atlantic Ocean. Senegal is to its southwest, while Mali is to its east and southeast. It shares its northeastern border with Algeria, while the core entire north and northwest is bordered by Western Sahara. Covering an area of about 400,000 square miles, it's the 11th largest country in Africa. By the same token, it's the 28th largest in the world. However, it has nothing to do with that huge expanse of land, as 90% of its territory is part of the Sahara Desert. In fact, only about 0.3% of its land is occupied by water. Based on the 2023 estimate, it's the 128th most populous country in the world and the 39th most populous in Africa, with a population of only 4,244,878. The sparse population density of just 8.8 .8 per square mile can be explained. The country is an unfortunate victim of acute desertification. Thus, in the real sense, the population is crammed into just one section of the country. The country's capital, Nouakchott, is home to almost half of the population. Doubling also as the largest city of Mauritania, many others live around the coastal city of Nouakchott, which was established in 1958. Geographical features of Mauritania Mauritania is on the Atlantic coast of Africa, where it forms a geographic bridge between the North African Maghreb and the westernmost portion of Sub-Saharan Africa, so it can be considered to be part of Sahel and the Maghreb. A significant portion of Mauritania, approximately three quarters, is covered by desert or semi-desert. The total land border is about 3,153 miles. It's by the Sahara Desert, which is known for its stunning sand dunes. Since the mid-1960s, the desert has been expanding, no thanks to severe drought. The country's area is more than three times the area of New Mexico. Lying between geographic coordinates of 20.00 north and 20.00 west, the climate is mostly desert, constantly hot, dry and dusty. Nevertheless, the country is home to a variety of wildlife such as gazelles, hyenas, ostriches and rare species including the Atlantic humpback dolphin. You might find this dolphin in the Senegal River, which forms part of the Mauritania-Senegal border and which is an important water source for these neighbours. Mount Kedech Ejil, standing at an elevation of approximately 3,000 feet, is the highest peak in Mauritania among its central hills. The terrain is mostly barren, flat plains of the Sahara. History of Mauritania Mauritania, as it was known historically, once existed as a tribal kingdom millenniums ago, from around the 6th century BC. The Berber and Balfour peoples were among the first settlers in what's now Mauritania as a nomadic people. It's in the documented history that they were among the first to convert from a nomadic to an agrarian lifestyle. The name Mauritania actually originated from the ancient kingdom of Mauritania, which in turn was derived from Maori, which means Moors, the name of the Berber-speaking people of northwest Africa. During the 1850s and 1860s, southern Mauritania came under France, and in 1904, the entire land of Mauritania became a French colonial territory. In 1960, Mauritania's struggles became successful and the country achieved independence from France. Mauritania initially began its self-governance as a single party. This led to an authoritarian regime that culminated in 49 years of dictatorships, flawed elections, military coups and failed attempts at democracy. That last coup in the country was led by old Abzal Aziz in 2008. He was elected president in 2009 and re-elected in 2014. Though slavery was officially abolished in the country in 1981, the country is still working to address the continuing practice of slavery. 
The practice was criminalized recently in 2007. Economy of Mauritania Despite an abundance of natural resources such as iron ore, gold, copper, phosphate, gypsum and the recently discovered oil, Mauritania remains poor. Its economy is still based primarily on agriculture, livestock and fishing. The country also exports mollusks, shellfish and frozen fish. Mauritania is generally seen as having a poor record of human rights records. It's particularly censored for the perpetuation of the institution of slavery within Mauritanian society just because of the sheer number of the population that is living in poverty. According to the United Nations World Food Programme, about 22.1% of the population lives in poverty. About 9.8% of young children suffer from acute malnutrition, which is widespread in Mauritania. Mauritanian Ogoya, or MRO, is the official currency of Mauritania. The exchange rate was 365 MRO to 1 US dollar when last checked. As one of Africa's newest oil producers, the Chingeti oil field discovered in the country in 2001 has potential reserves of about 120 million barrels of oil, according to BBC News. This may be a game-changer for the Mauritanian economy if what happened to some oil-rich African countries doesn't befall it. Reuters in 2019 reported that one of the largest discoveries of natural gas was also found in Mauritanian offshore waters. It has a potential of 50 trillion cubic feet of gas, which is equivalent to about 8.9 billion barrels of oil. Based on the latest available estimate, the country's GDP based on PPP totals just $32.908 billion, making it the world's 146th. Per capita, it's $6,925, making Mauritanians the 132nd richest people. The nominal GDP totals $10.091 billion, making them 151st in the world. Per capita, it's $2,328, making it the 144th. People of Mauritania Someone born or living in Mauritania is known as Mauritanian. The country has diverse ethnic groups. About 40% of the population are Haratin, descendants of former slaves. 30% are Arab Berber, Moors or Baidane, and the remaining 30% belong to Hal Pular, Fulani, Mande and Wolof. Since most of the country is a desert, vast areas of the country, particularly in the eastern, central and northern areas, are without sizable population clusters. Smaller settlements of Mauritanians live near the border with Mali and Senegal. While the country's official language of Mauritania is Arabic and it's widely spoken, several other languages like Polar, Soninka and Wolof are spoken by different ethnic groups in the country. Islam is the Mauritanian official religion. Some 99% of the population openly identify themselves as Muslims. No other religion is openly practiced or tolerated. One of the prominent Mauritanians was Mokhtar Old Dada. He was the president of Mauritania when the country gained its independence from France. He ruled from 1960 to 1978 before he was toppled by a military coup d'etat. Another one is Ahmedou Old Abdallah. He is a Mauritanian diplomat who once served as a senior United Nations official. Yet another is Diallo Goudillet, a French Mauritanian footballer playing as a midfielder, currently for French League 2 club Stade Brest. Interesting facts about Mauritania. The national flag of Mauritania features green and gold bands with a red crescent and star in the top left corner. Mauritania is home to the Eye of the Sahara, also known as the Eye of Africa, a circular geologic structure seen from space 28 miles. It is believed to be caused by an uplifted dome eroded to expose onion-like layers of rock. The Mauritania Railway, an iron ore railway stretching 435 miles, has one of the heaviest and longest trains in the world. Traditional Mauritanian weddings are elaborate affairs. These grand celebrations often involve multiple days of festivities, traditional attire, feasting, music and dancing. Nawakchot, the modern capital of Mauritania, is likely derivative of the Berber language word Nawakshut, meaning place of the winds. In 1981, Mauritania became the last country to abolish slavery in the world. Though banned then, the practice was not criminalized until decades later. In 2012, CNN estimated that 10% to 20% of the population still lived in slavery. The world's largest ship graveyard is in Mauritania. If you get to the city of Nadohibu, you will see hundreds of wrecks grounded in shallow water. They are either being scavenged or left to decay. 
Now it is your turn. These facts about Mauritania have been scrupulously verified. If, however, you have a question, suggestion or comment, kindly drop it here in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell.